Oh, grumpy old gentleman. On film. This is for uh, Mike Gray, 1951, his birth year. Ten. Ten movies for Mike. And my birthday's 1951, too. So the both of us have the same birth year, Mike and Bob. I'm Bob, I'm talking about Mike. So let's get started. It's not going to be a big, long, drawn-out, story-wise stuff, right? But I'm going to talk about ten movies for Mike. And anybody else that wants them or does have them. Of course, uh, some of you guys don't know a good movie if you ever saw one. I'm just joking. Jesus, calm down. Anyway, here we go. You ready? Before my battery runs out. Ma and Pa Kettle, back on the farm. Right so right now, they live in a big fancy house, right? They won it, I think, in some raffle and movie before in this one. Anyway, they decide to move back to the farm. So that stars uh, Marjorie Maine and Percy Kilbride. And Ma says, Pa, you got to fix the fence up back. Pa's sitting there going in the rocking chair. Yeah, Ma, I'll get on that first thing in the morning. <laughs> it's hilarious. The Ma and Pa Kettle movies are a riot. They're fun. Except for maybe the last two, but hey, the, most of them are all good. All right, here we go. Another one. We're going to talk about flying to flying leathernecks. John Wayne has to do with flying airplanes. Robert Ryan. Well, I guess Robert Ryan's not doing a very good job teaching these guys how to fly airplanes. And John Wayne's getting a little miffed at him, so they don't like each other. So that's the flying leathernecks. A good sci-fi movie. Sci-fi movies are just coming into, what's that word, vogue a little bit in the 50s, right? Early 50s and through the 50s, sci-fi movies, right? So this one's called The Day the Earth Stood Still. Yeah. Some round thing. Looks like a top of a garbage can lands in the park, right? And outsteps this guy and he tells everybody... All right, all you people, you got to calm down. Stop with the violence, right? Or we're going to stop it for you. Well, because Earth is too violent. And the people up there don't like it. And they're telling Earth, you got to calm down, boys. You're having too many wars. You're acting stupid. So calm down. If you don't, we'll calm you down ourselves. We'll do the job ourselves and calm you down. Anyway, the day the Earth stood still. That's a very, very good movie. All right, on Moonlight Bay, on Moonlight Bay, Doris Day, Gordon McRae, takes place in 1917. Doris Day is a tomboy. She likes playing baseball. She's a good baseball player. She's a good pitcher. She fixes cars. She's a good, she, but when she puts a dress on, she looks like a girl. No, to tell you the truth. She seems a little bit old for this part, but like I say before, just skip past that and you'll be all right. So it's a fun movie, very fun, very enjoyable. Yeah, so if you haven't seen Moonlight Bay, it's a good little ditty. Good songs in it, too. All right, and now we go to Strangers on a Train. Yes, Alfred Hitchcock, we know that, most of these... No, the strangers on the train. Farley Granger and Robert Walker, right? Two guys on a train, sitting there having a tea, having a smoke, chatting, right? One guy gets a bright idea. You know, well, to the point, right? You know, you kill somebody for me and I'll kill somebody for you. What do you say? That's basically it. So, yeah, strangers on the train. All right. A comedy. This one's a comedy. This is a funny one. This is a funny one. Father's Little Dividend. Spencer Tracy, Joan Bennett, and Elizabeth Taylor. Well, of course, this is a sequel to uh, Father of the Bride the year before, right? Father of the Bride. Elizabeth Taylor gets married, drives her father in bonkers to Spencer Tracy. So this year, this movie has to do with Elizabeth Taylor being pregnant and having a baby and all this stuff, right? 
So that's another, it's a funny movie, and he finds out later on, not only is Elizabeth Taylor's daughter pregnant, spoiler alert, he finds out his wife is pregnant too. So it's hilarious. That's a funny one. All right, let's go on to this one. The Thing from Another Planet. Yeah, The Thing from Another Planet. You know, they find a spaceship, a frozen spaceship up in the Arctic and they cut this thing out of it and take it back to to the where they're at, right? And this thing thaws out and causes havoc where they are. So yeah, it's the thing from another planet. Yeah, and they remade it right uh, years later, of course, years later with, uh, with uh, what's his name? Uh, Kurt Russell. There, I said I got that one out of my face. Now, Kurt Russell's version's very good. I remember when I first saw Kurt Russell's version, I watched it with another movie, Alien. Yes, I was all alone in my house, laying on the couch. I watched the double bill of the Alien and the Thing. That's a very good movie, too. But I still like the original version, The Thing from Another Planet, more so than Kurt Russell. Not that much more, just a little bit more. All right, what else? Operation Pacific, John Wayne, Patricia Neal, yes. He's in, the, he's in a submarine. He's floating around and he's going after the Japanese. Very good movie. John Wayne movies are all... Good move. John Wayne's always good, like I said, most of the time. All right, here we go. Another one. This one's a comedy starring Bob Hope, and it's called The Lemon Drop Kid. Right? Most of this movie takes place around Christmas time. Now, uh, Bob Hope's character, he likes to track, right? He likes making bets on the horses, right? So... Anyway, he owes the mob, right, mobsters, like $10,000. And he does some things to make money, right, to get money together to, to pay off his bills. That's the first time you get to hear silver bells. Anyway, it's a good one. And the last but not least is Royal Wedding. Fred Astaire and Jane Powell. Yeah, they get taken or they get a job I should say over in England it happens to be the royal wedding though the day the time when the royal wedding is going on then this is the one where he dances with the coat rack you know he dances with the coat rack see that anyway he's in that so the Fred Astaire and Jane Powell their brother and sister act they go over there to dance Jane Powell meets up with Peter Lawford Lawford I find most of Peter Lawford movies He's kind of stiff in them. I don't exactly know what that means, but he's not, you know, Peter Lafayette. Yeah, he's a little, I don't know, stiff. But anyway, Royal Wedding, yeah, Fred Astaire dances with the coat rack, among other dancing. But it's a pretty good movie. So that's the 10 for Mike for his birth year, 1951. Like what I said, it's also my year. The year that I was born. So, there you go, Mike. And you grumpy old gentleman. This is from Bob from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Keep watching those movies.